what's going on gear hunters welcome back to my channel and today in this video i'm going to interview spencer an american investor who bought a house in japan as his first rental property ever and i'm very excited to talk to you spencer yes uh, very excited to be here and i'll talk to you as well show the property so where are we now we're currently in uh, saitama uh, which is about 50 minutes from tokyo it's a nice neighborhood yeah. yeah just looking at houses around here and i'm guessing your house is pretty close by yeah it's right around the corner uh, if you want to follow me i can show you all right let's do it all right cool so Spencer, you're from the U.S. What part of the U.S.? Yeah, I'm um, from, from uh, Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington. Okay, that's a really nice place. I love, <laughs> I love Seattle. It's a beautiful place. <laughs> yeah. What made you want to buy a house in Japan? Uh, yeah, I was looking uh, at rental properties, and uh, originally I was thinking about investing in the U.S., but um, investing there is not so good right now. Yeah. So Japan offers a unique opportunity, and I'm passionate about the uh, country, the community here. Yeah. So I figured it'd be a great opportunity to start with my first rental property in Japan. Awesome. Is this it? Yep. It's right down here. Okay. Yes. Wow. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Ojamashimasu. Okay. Nice. So when you purchased this, what did it look like? I purchased it and the condition was, a, a, it definitely needed a renovation. So right. I ended up paying for a, a, a renovation when I bought the property yeah. and they recently completed it and it uh, looks much nicer. <laughs> Let's see it. Right, so this was a classic Akia, right? Yes. Like, yes. A band, kind of abandoned, needed a lot of renovation. It did, yeah. And this is the, the renovation. So this is the, the kitchen, dining, and living. So LDK, I guess? Yes, right? three yeah. LDK. Yes. Three LDK. Okay, I like the, the lights right there. Yeah, it's the really lights. Okay. <laughs> now, yeah, when you showed me the footage and pictures of the, the original conditions, it looked really dark, but now, Lots of light coming in, brighter color. Yeah, it, it was very dark to begin with, but I saw the pictures um, and now being here, uh, it just brightened up. It looks lively. What else is happening on this floor? Okay, follow me. Right here, we have a restroom. Okay, nice. Yep. All right. And over here, a washroom. Okay, nice. And then I'm guessing bath. Yes, bath. <laughs> nice, okay. All right. And then we can go ahead upstairs. All right. So three LDK, what's the square meters? Do you remember? Uh, yes, I, I think it was uh, 75, if I remember correctly. Wow, including the loft. Yes, Looks there's like a loft as well. <laughs> there you go, there's a balcony. Definitely has a nice addition nice. with the balcony. I like that. <laughs> nice breeze coming in. Really nice breeze. Such a, such a hot day. Yeah, it's very hot. No <laughs> air conditioning. Yeah, we, we both are sweating like this. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's a loft, nice. Oh, this could be fun. Could right. potentially be a bedroom. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Or minimum, at least, a storage. <laughs> and I'll take you to the other bedroom. Uh, is that the Tommy room? Yep. Nice. Yeah, yes. This might be my favorite. Usually, <laughs> Japanese room is a favorite room because you can use it for so many, so many ways. You know, this could be a bedroom, meditation if you like to do yoga, or a living room, second yeah. living room. And this is overlooking the neighborhood. Nice. Very lovely neighborhood. Uh, yeah. I definitely like the light that comes in. So yeah. <laughs> so this is your first time actually visiting here. First right? time. Yeah. yeah. What do you What do you think about the neighborhood and what do you think about the house? Yeah, I uh, walked around the neighborhood a couple of times. The neighborhood seems lovely. Uh, there's some beautiful houses in it. It's a very quiet community. So yeah, I really like it. Nice. Is it cool if we talk about some numbers? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, you were saying about affordability wise, it's really difficult in the market that you live in. It is. Yeah. So walk me through like to compare what you paid here and mm -hmm. what you could get with the same amount of money <laughs> in, <laughs> in Washington. Oh, yeah. okay. In total with the renovation and all the legal fees and uh, signing over the title, it was 8.5 uh, million yen. Okay. Um, so that's I, like uh, 50 something grand. I think it's about 55,000. $55,000. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I think expected rent for this area was uh, 85,000 yen, okay. which I think translates to 560 or 570 USD. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like a good deal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but as far as like Washington. What can you get with 55 grand? Uh, not much. <laughs> In Washington, I would say it's, I think the average house price is 700,000. 700,000? 700,000. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so quite the difference. <laughs> wow. So you could buy like how many of these? More than, more than 10. More than right? 10. More than 10. <laughs> Jeez, that's insane. Okay. Yes. That is hard to get into. Yeah. yeah. So tell me about this house. Like when was it built? And uh, you talked about the conditions, but yeah. what made you 
when I decide on this house. So it was built in 1964. It's also a non-rebuildable, which some people will shy away from that, but it's not so much for me. I think it's a good investment opportunity, especially being a rental property. As far as location, that's kind of why I chose this location and house. It's about 50 minutes from Tokyo. Mm -hmm. um, I believe you can even get there faster by a, a near train station, which is Shiki. Proximity of Tokyo, that was the main reason why I looked here and the community is also very nice. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, Spencer, thanks so much for the walkthrough. Of course. Yeah, I have more questions, but let's change uh, location because it's so hot. Uh, yeah, I agree. Let's do <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> All right. So Spencer, thanks for the walkthrough. Yeah. And uh, we actually came back to my car because it was so warm. It's so warm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this heat's crazy. You know, we're uh, at the end of July right now. And yeah, it's usually not like this. The July, August is really hot. But yeah. Yeah, July is usually a little bit cooler, but this is... Uh, Pretty special. But, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why we came back in this AC AC car. Nice so. to escape the heat for yeah, a second. For sure. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about you know your whole journey. We do get approached by quite a few people, a lot of them Americans. And what you did is definitely courageous. You know, some people yeah. are like, wait, is this like is this actually good? Like, you know, how do we do this remotely and all yeah. that stuff? So maybe if you could start from your background. So you say you're based in Seattle, Washington right uh, now. Oh yeah, uh, I'm based. Yeah, what, do you do, what do you do and how did you get into real estate investing? Okay, yeah, uh, I'm based out of Seattle, Washington. Uh, I've kind of moved across the country because of my job. I work in healthcare. I work in a surgical specialty field as an assistant. So I assist in uh, surgical procedures. Started out in Virginia, moved to South Carolina. I've been to Maine, uh, now in Seattle. Just kind of pinpointing myself and giving me opportunities to grow in my field. A couple years ago, living paycheck to paycheck and so I basically did what I could to uh, utilize my job to the best of its ability and situate myself so I could invest and originally I was going to invest in the United States right but uh, I've switched to Japan because it's just a better investment opportunity now in the US because I invest in the US as well yeah and it's just that right now it's a different game right yeah it's it so is. hard to it get is. in appreciating game yes but also like you know you're gonna have to probably get a mortgage to get a house yes. and uh, the interest rates are higher than yeah. a few years ago. Uh, I think the interest rates are almost at an all-time high or at least recently they yeah. were and it's almost uh, not plausible to buy a house there in full cash you would have to take a loan and then, like I had said in Seattle Washington it's about 700,000 uh, yeah. on medium to just buy a house. That's crazy. Yeah let alone rent because rent's outrageous too. <laughs> yeah so looking at Japan like real estate is cheap and also the exchange rate yes. is very favorable yes. especially for Americans. It right? is yeah. Walk me through what were some of the deciding factors to invest in Japan. So, you know, as far as the deciding factors, I realized that the United States was no longer plausible. And I've always been interested in real estate. Yep. I have a passion for Japan and the community here. I've kind of evolved around my whole life. I had good friends growing up that were Japanese and it does play a huge part of my life back in the States as well. So I started looking into different areas. And when I started looking in Japan and realized it was a good opportunity, I thought, I'd, why not take a shot here? And then luckily came across you. I mean, it's been a great experience so far. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's been <laughs> great to work with you. I think we first got connected er earlier this year. We did. Yeah. Right? And then initially it was kind of like a coaching, like, you know, and you learned quite a bit through I the did. course and like one-on-ones. And then like, okay, do you want to buy? Are you ready to buy? <laughs> yeah. And you're like, yeah, I got the savings. Let's do it. Yes. <laughs> and then you really jumped on it pretty quick. And I did, yeah. Can you share like a little bit about what you went through so that the audience can understand like you know what it takes to yeah you know, go um, through this so I, I think I reached out to you uh, roughly in uh, November December of last year right. and uh, it was very early days in terms of me learning Japanese real estate yeah. and I would say that was the hardest part for me was just uh, getting familiar with it but your mm -hmm. REI program kind of streamlined me in and uh, helped me understand the process and that's where it began and then from there we kind of did one-on-one -on -one coaching for a couple months and then when I was ready to invest uh, we went uh, and we pulled the trigger pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. And what are some things that uh, people might not know about investing in Japan that now you know? I would say as far as uh, investing, I don't know, it was a very easy process I mm. felt like. Done the process in the United States once upon a time ago and I, I think it took longer. There's more legality to it and I feel like here is just a quick process once I understood it and we actually closed the, after agreeing the deal in 11 days which was very quickly. <laughs> that was fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not every deal is like that but yeah your deal was yeah. you know moved pretty quickly. Yeah. I mean, you were the decision maker and you <laughs> yeah. know, you decided pretty quickly and yeah. you were confident 
able to pull the trigger you had the funds ready so yes yeah that was awesome tell me about your plans like uh, what do you hope to achieve now that you have yeah one property here yeah so uh, my goal is kind of uh, as far as like uh, going back to the United States it's very difficult to retire there nowadays so I have a very labor-intensive job and I've kind of burned out from my job mm -hmm. so my goal is to kind of supplement my income over time and become a land a lord that's something I'm very passionate about I'm passionate about community mm -hmm. uh, so investing here is kind of a dream with that yeah over the next like six to seven years I'm planning on investing um, in real estate properties here this was my fir very first one I'm looking forward to doing the second one very soon as well <laughs> that's awesome yeah <laughs> off camera you were saying like you're already saving up for the second property I, I am yeah, yeah. I, I'm a bit of the ways there to the second one I'm targeting uh, late February <laughs> ah, that's awesome yeah 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 I think what you did really well was you had the savings goal you knew, you knew exactly how much you could save yes every every month yes. and you just like stuck with it yeah so it was for me like it was easy to kind of like really help you like okay so targets may let's yes. start planning to you know look for listings in april we did just that yeah so. I, we were right on the timeline i think we pinpointed a specific price and i you know, just from how I used to live, I can live very frugal. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't take me too much to be happy and live. So uh, I just pay, basically put everything to the side for savings and uh, yeah, and went for it. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk a little bit about Japan. So is, did you say this is your first visit? This is my first visit okay. in Japan. <laughs> what, did you, what did you think? So oh, you traveled many, many places. Yeah, yeah, weeks, right? uh, yeah, definitely. I, I've, I've been very lucky to travel many places in the last couple of years. And I have to say, uh, Japan, one of my favorite places so far. I had an idea of it. And I feel like when I came here, it exceeded my expectations. The people, the community, everyone's so lovely and friendly. I really love Japan. It's a great place. That's great place awesome. to visit, live. Tons of opportunities here. That's awesome. I have to ask because you have tattoos yeah. all over. And I, I do too, but I you know, hide mine. <laughs> and then Japan is notorious for, especially older generations, like, oh, you know, you, people don't like people with tattoos. Yeah. What was your experience like? Yeah, so my, my experience so far, um, I've been to Osaka, yeah. uh, Hiroshima, and then now Tokyo, and yeah. then Saitama. Surprisingly, I, I don't know, uh, I've had a lot of positivity towards it. Nice, I, a lot of people nice. have walked up to me and uh, it's been a great conversation starter and people have said it's cool and even have shown me their own tattoos. So. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. So uh, maybe that's changing a bit here, which is yeah. uh, cool to see. <laughs> Did you get into a public bath, like onsen? No, no, not no, yet. no, not yet, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I have looked and there is opportunities for that, uh, especially in Tokyo and Osaka. Uh, yeah. I would like to do a traditional one one day, but uh, who knows? Hey. Maybe one day if I'm lucky. You still got a couple days left, yeah. so you got to exactly. do it. And I might plan it. <laughs> cool. Is there anything else that you, you'd like to share? I would just say is if anybody is interested in personally investing for either rental properties or a personal property, I would say you're definitely the person to go to. You made the process and your team made the process incredibly easy. It was very streamlined, easy to understand. I had full trust in you guys the whole time. I would say go for it. I think it's a great opportunity. Japan's a great country. Your team is amazing. And I think what's really cool is like while you're doing this process and help, helping people with their dreams, like also you're you're helping uh, me help people achieve their dreams as well. Uh, so as terms of setting up a community and letting somebody come into a property and have affordable rent. So yeah, it's a very special process working with you and then also me working with other people so I've enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you. Really yeah. appreciate that. And right back at you. Yeah. It's been really a pleasure working with you. It's a partnership, you know. Yeah. No matter how much I want to help someone, <laughs> if it's, you know, sometimes it gets difficult, but you made it very easy for us to help you yeah thank you yeah uh, really appreciate it i appreciate it and uh looking forward to doing many more yeah, deals more. with you <laughs> congrats on the first deal <laughs> and everyone thanks for watching this is spencer from seattle washington <laughs> bought first house in saitama japan and very excited for him to get that rented out <laughs> if you're interested yeah you can sign up for a similar program links in below in the description and i will see you in the next video thank you spencer yeah thank you <laughs>